Right, this is a bit on the old side. It's something that I recorded a very long that I made a long time ago, and I'm doing a screener cast of now. So, stages and varieties of attachment is a consequence of something Nicola asked on Twitter about Schaffer and Emerson. Attachment is a strong emotional bond that develops over time between an infant and their primary caregiver. And it's a short term survival benefit, providing food and safety, and in the long term, allows parents to pass on acquired adaptations to the environment and provide a kind of template for emotional relations in later life. Balby referred to this as the inner working model. Research into the stages or phases of development and the various types of attachment is very extensive stuff. Um, the spec doesn't actually require you to know the phases and stages of attachment, but most psychologists would think it odd if you did a course on the attachments and didn't know them. So Schaffer and Emerson in 64 conducted the classic in this area. Their findings are modified repeatedly by many, many later researchers. Um, and there's a very famous table put about of the four stages uh, by, I can't, I think it was Zimbardo. Uh, the basic method was really successful and th they get the credit for it and quite right so. So they visited 60 children in their homes every four weeks until they were one year old and they had follow-up visits at 18 months. They also interviewed the primary carers, all mothers in this case, although obviously we refer to them as PCGs, asking them how their children responded to seven everyday situations where the child had to deal with separation, being left in a room on their own, put in the cart, left in the pram, and so on and so forth. Schaffer and Emerson used the results of their interviews to measure separation anxiety. They also observed how the children responded to the presence of the researchers, noting how close they could get to the child before causing signs of distress. So they were looking for more whimpering, crying out, reaching out for the month of comforting, trying to hide. They used these findings to measure stranger anxiety. When both sets of results were combined, uh, the findings from the whole group were analysed. Schaffer and Emerson concluded that attachments developed over time and went through four distinct phases. Subsequent work has provided a lot of evidence to support this theory of the development of attachment uh, throughout the first two years of life, although very often now we talk about 18 months rather than two. So here's what the phases of attachment look like. Um, so it, it was thought to be initially pre-attachment or indiscriminate phase would last for up to two months. Child responds to all stimuli in the same way and does not discriminate between carers and other things in their environment. Anyone can comfort the child and it shows little distress on separation, no fear of strangers. Towards the end of this stage, the child begins to show a preference for social stimuli like smiling and things like that. Up to about a month old, babies, they might prefer smiling, but they're so uncoordinated they can't really respond in a consistent way. Two to seven months, they start to discriminate, they become more social, clearly distinguishing between people and the environment and showing a preference for human company. Um, children seem to discriminate between familiar people and strangers, but are not really madly upset about strangers yet. Uh, they can be comforted pretty much by anyone, but they start to be showing signs of distress at being left alone for too long. Uh, over the seven month barrier and up to two years, we have a specific phase of attachment where they, the child will cry or protest when one particular person puts them down, so it's a separation protest. And they're also especially happy when this person returns most comforted by this person, that's the joy at reunion response. Uh, this specific attachment may not be with the primary caregiver, although this is most likely. It may also be shared with other individuals in the child's environment, sometimes referred to as a joint attachment. Typically, when the child forms a specific attachment, they also begin to show stranger anxiety. At around eight months onwards, multiple attachments phase, uh, very soon after the formation of a specific attachment, the child will develop a wider circle of multiple attachments. There is some debate over whether the specific attachment is still the most intense bond at this point, something that Balby referred to as monotropy. Other researchers uh, have suggested that the multiple attachments form the central significance of the specific attachment decreases, so mum or the primary caregiver recedes in the child's estimations in less and less important, until all the attachments are equally intense but provide different kinds of experience. That's that. I'll make the notes on the slides available to you online and this screener will be in the same place, probably posted on the blog.